Amy Duggar talks about imprisoned cousin Josh. He deserves every second in there. Amy Duggar King is continuing to bluntly speak her truth about her family and its most notorious member. In an interview with People published this week in multiple installments, check out part one, part two, and part three. The estranged niece of Counting on star Jim Bob Duggar talked about her cousin Josh's imprisonment for possession of CSAM. I hope every day there is absolute torture for him, the self-described advocate for children said. I really hope that because what he watched and what he was viewing for his own fulfillment is those kids experiencing torture. He deserves every second in there, and I hope he gets a longer term, Amy, she added. I hope he messes up again. He deserves every second in there, and I hope he gets a longer term, Amy, she added. I hope he messes up again. Josh was originally sentenced to 151 months in federal prison in December 2021 as the Ashley. Who was in court for Josh's trial? Reported. The father of seven had time added to his original sentence after being caught with a cell phone. I want him to stay as long as he can because he can't hurt children, Amy said. He can't view that disgustingness and his kids hopefully are safe as well. Amy has long shared her concerns about Josh's children, even offering help to his wife, Anna, that she's yet to accept. The last time Amy saw Anna was at a funeral for family friend, an interaction she and her mother, Deanna, recounted on TikTok. That was the last time. I wasn't really expecting to see anyone there, and I was shocked to see her. I just looked at her and I said, Anna, and she was like, I just need space. That's all she said to me. Amy told people. I wanted to say a whole lot. I wanted to say tons of things, but in that moment, it wasn't obviously the right location, she added. It was a ceremony, a viewing actually, at a funeral, and yeah, it wasn't the right timing and I didn't want to make a scene and I didn't want to do that or draw attention to anything and clearly respect her so I didn't. But if you ask me, I think she is mad. I do. I think she's just really, really mad. While she's open to connecting with Anna, Amy has no interest in having a relationship with Josh because of the multiple abuses he's been convicted and accused of. I have not spoken to him, and I will not. I will not, she told people. When you just cross those evil lines like that, there is no coming back. I just think there's no coming back. Because of the true horribleness of his crimes, Amy revealed she has zero compassion for him. I hope every day there is absolute torture for him, she said in a now viral quote. I really hope that because what he watched and what he was viewing for his own fulfillment is those kids experiencing torture.